Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Power here, and in today's fun scroll saw project video, I have another amazing and unique design by Steve Good. I've already got all the pattern printed out, prepped, and attached to our material with clear packing tape. And as you can tell, this is going to be another multi part project with lots of pieces going on in it. So, with projects like this, I've got a picture of the finished design and how to assemble it saved to my cell phone so once we get to the assembly process we know how to get everything assembled. Everything you see in my hand here began life as a piece of pine shoving board that comes three quarter inch in thickness and eight foot long. I can pick this up cheaply in my area near the house and it's around ten dollars for an eight foot piece so it's cheap material that I can get and mill down on the table saw and thickness planer to produce videos like this and hopefully a teaching manner that may encourage you to go out and make a project like this. Speaking of today's project, it's another diorama. You guys know how much I like those. And it's going to be Bigfoot. Now he is an iconic creature of mythology and folklore and you guys know I like that as well. But it's going to depict him walking through the woods from that classic footage that most people debate. Is he real or is he a myth as people like to say? I'm in the camp that I believe he does exist. He is indeed the reign and hide and seek world champion, my friends. But everything here has been milled down to either half inch or one quarter inch material. And there's also going to be one piece of three quarter inch material for Bigfoot's body. But I'll quickly show you the pieces before we get started. His legs and arms there are going to be one half inch material. The two sides of his head will be half inch material as well. And they are achieved by running the three quarter inch material through the thickness planer. His body is actually going to be three quarter inch in thickness and this is the thickest piece of material you need over on the scroll saw for this project. There's going to be some one quarter inch material and keep in mind all this is from that pine board. I just milled this down carefully over on the table saw and these are spacers and you only need five of them even though we're going to ultimately cut out six of them. I will have a spare just in case something happens. The front of the project has his name and a nice footprint there. Indeed the name Bigfoot. There is a nice rock face here to add some texture and then the backer board here is another rock and a tree. Now I think grain direction plays a key part in this project so I've got all my pieces lined up as best I can in one uniform grain direction but since everything is prepared let's move the camera and get started. And over here on the workbench we're going to take the Seiko scrollers drill and drill out all of the pilot holes for internal cutting and you will note that I have a backer board behind the scroll work to prevent blowout of the pilot hole on the reverse side. But once the few pilot holes required are drilled out, we will head over to the scroll saw and begin scrolling. And for the entire scrolling process, I will be using a number 5 ultra reverse tooth blade and it will cut through all the material, which keep in mind is pine exceptionally well with minimal chip out, which is always good when it comes to sanding. If you guys would like to try this pattern, it's available as a free pattern download over at Steve Good's scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com website over in his free pattern catalog. As soon as I seen Steve upload this project, I knew I would have to make it. Me and my mom both are big fans of the mysterious creature. He is the reigning hide and seek world champion, my friends. So as soon as I seen this on Steve's blog, I knew it would be covered in a future video. And it took me a while to prep everything. Keep in mind that all the pieces you're seeing me cutting started out as one eight foot piece of three quarter inch pine shelving board I picked up at the local builder center and I just took my time and milled all the material down to its proper thicknesses. There was three quarter inch pieces, half inch pieces, and one quarter inch pieces that I ripped and milled down on the table saw and thickness planer. But it does not take long to cut out all of the pieces. I think I got everything cut out in around 35 minutes from start to finish. That was all the parts. I just as always took my time and let the blade do the work. And now we are beginning the final piece here which has the boulder and the tree. And it felt like it took the longest time to cut out this tree doing all of the ins and out cuts that make up the branches and the limbs. And this is the backer piece. And with a project like this the more I looked at the pieces I felt that you could actually just cut out the Bigfoot piece 
and make him a standalone project on a base and not even need the front piece with his name or this tree piece on the back side. If you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my channel and also follow me across all my social medias under the Artisan Pirate name. I'd really appreciate the support. But coming along here, we are finishing up with the scroll work. And now we can head over to the workbench and remove all the pieces from the waste wood. And at this point in a project, I can start to get a visualization of how the project's going to turn out. But now it will be time for sanding. And I will sand all the pieces with 180 grit Clingspore Woodworking Shop sandpaper and my vibrating palm sander and I'll use small circular motions on the front and back of each piece and I'll be careful how I sand because some of the pieces can be fragile like the tree piece here but once everything is sanded it will be time for the initial glue up and I'm using medium grade CA glue and activator and Steve Good does a great job of providing how a multi-part piece like this is assembled in the pattern packs you download. So I have that image saved to my phone and that's what I keep looking at here. But I've done the glue up in a few different stages. I wanted to make sure that the CA glue was drying and curing properly before moving on. And I partially glue together everything because we have to make a base. So I'm just going as far as I can because I'm going to finish this in a two-tone appearance. So I can't glue everything together yet. But again, I needed to have the overall size of everything so I could cut a base out. And for the base, I'm going to use another piece of that same piece of pine shelving board. And once it was measured, I went over to the Rikon table saw and ripped it down and then cross cut it to length. And then for an added flare, I decided to add a round over to the base. I really, really want to step up my router skills this year and improve with the router techniques. But now it was time for finishing. And again, I'm going with a two-tone appearance. And I'm using a light Minwax wood stain here for Bigfoot's name and the backer piece here with the tree as well as the base. And with all scroll saw projects, you can actually paint them, stain them, leave them natural, or let the natural colors show through of exotic and hardwoods. But I wanted this project to look really, really rustic. And I'm now staining Bigfoot with a darker stain just to make him pop against the lighter stain we used of the other pieces. But once everything was stained and wiped off and dried on hooks for a few hours, it was time for final assembly. And we came back once again with medium grade CA glue and activator. And when it was glued, I let it set around five minutes to make sure that the glue had fully cured. And then it was time to apply a finish. And for finishing, I used several coats of Rust-Oleum clear gloss. And once that dried, this diorama was complete. And here we have the completed miniature Bigfoot diorama cut out almost completely on the scroll saw with the base being of course cut out on the table saw. But it finished up amazingly well and has some nice three-dimensional detail. Thank you Steve Good for another fantastic pattern from your pattern catalog. Again, this is one of his newer pattern offerings. He released this in late 2023 I believe so just keep that in mind if you would like to go back and download this pattern and try it. It took me around 40 minutes to scroll him out completely from start to finish. It took me a lot longer during the prep work, you know, going through the thickness planer and getting everything cut to the 
correct thicknesses and dimensions and everything but as always I just took my time and let the blade do the work the longest bit of scroll work I had in this was the tree that's in the backer board here with all the little ins and outs of the branches and everything but I think everything finished up amazingly well keep in mind I've done this in my traditional rustic finishing way I just used two forms of stain I used a lighter colored men wax wood stain and then a darker stain for Bigfoot here for all of the pieces the darker stain was given to me by a family member and I really like how it makes him pop against the lighter material here keep in mind all of this is from one single piece of pine shelving board this is the remains of it as well as a few scraps that are laying around when I milled everything down for this project but again about 40 minutes of scroll saw work and I feel projects like this are so versatile of course you could go in here and paint everything and make everything really look like an authentic woodland scene that might look great out in a cabin or in a nature preserve or you know like in a ranger's office or something but I think you could also take just the Bigfoot piece here and make him a standalone piece with just a base on his own without adding the front piece, the rocks, or the backer board with the tree and the rock there, and it would still look amazingly well and very unique. I know some people have some of the big concrete Bigfoot statues out in their yards by their driveways and everything. A lot of people believe in him as well as myself, and some of my family members believe in him as well. So many people have seen him, my friends. He's got to be out there. But really, really cool. I had a lot of fun making this project. If you guys would like to try it, again, it is a Steve Good design, and you can, of course, by all means, make it out of exotic woods to where you wouldn't even have to take the time to stain it, wait for the stain to dry, and then glue it, and then wait for the clear coat to dry. There's always options and versatility with scroll saw patterns but I had a lot of fun in today's video and I hope you guys like watching me make today's video if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and also follow me across all my social medias under the artisan pirate name as always links to contact me as well as all my social medias will always be linked down in the description box below these videos that's about all for this one and remember guys if I can make it or do it so can you I'm the artisan pirate take care and I'll see you guys real soon